So I'm ripping this idea off from Mary, uh, Mary Claire magazine, it's called Shelf Portrait, and I thought you guys would be really interested in kind of exploring my office, my little bat cave, that you see a lot in different things, and all the stuff that's here, kind of my late grandmother's bureau, my collection of pipes, I'm a pipe and scar enthusiast, the bookshelf of just collectibles, and there isn't a huge amount to show here, mirrors that I made from, well, I say made, they were pink plastic from Poundland, and I sprayed them copper, which they look really cool. Same with that, and even that thing, the round thing, was sprayed copper. All the plants are fake. <laughs> and I need to turn this light off, because, let's be honest, it's annoying me. Uh, you know when you watch my videos and you see those swirly patterns and things behind me? It's this guy. Little... He's cool. Amazon, you can get him. My ring light on. I have a mustard yellow brown China girl, which was my grandmother's print. And I had it reframed. So it looks cool. It's on actually on a piece of wood, but it looks really cool. And by the way, this is a vastly small thing of my books. This is just sort of more personal items that I want to show you on here. Hopefully the sound is okay, because I don't have a mic on. I'm just using the mic on my phone. But I'm going to pick out some of the things. There is a reason for The Little Mermaids. Uh, my favourite film growing up, and I've sort of collected them over the years to live on my bookshelf, so I know I'm weird. This shelf is a bit more hickety pickety. We have a little art shop that's one of those kits for train sets, and it was gifted to me and I made it. And then we have uh, his dark materials, all of them, Philip Pullman, uh, I love these. We have more um, Alice Hoffman and some of the smaller books, Night Circus. And then we come into C.S. Lewis and then we have a complete box set of Game of Thrones. Yes, there's more mermaids. If this is so hickety pickety. Pokemon the first movie soundtrack. <laughs> Power Rangers. A time turner from Harry Potter. More D&D dice. And figures from the Lone Ranger really underrated movie and this is a camera from the 1920s I won't bring it out but it's one that strips forward and that was uh, my grandmother's it was a wedding present to my grandmother and it was old then so we have one here which I don't keep on a shelf it lives in a box normally away from daylight a first edition of the Salmarillion by J.R. Tolkien uh, this is signed to my grandmother it's it's beautiful it survived house fires it is old it is wrecked but you know what? It survived house fires, two floods, it's countless moves around the country, and has been overseas. So be thankful. And you know what's really weird? It still smells of her perfume, which I love. I do love that. I think it's really important to have a space that you can shut the door on. Uh, this was Poundland, by the way. I don't know if they still do these. But I can shut the door in here and it kind of tells a story of a lot of my life and a lot of my things. I want to talk about some of these books. At the very top we have a selection of art books and photography books. I'm not bringing these down, there's some D&D stuff and some figures up there. That is Llama. I won him and I'm very proud of him. And here are some of the random bits that I own. More pipes because I do own a lot. I said this before, all of these plants are fake. Let's, let's be honest, nothing would grow in here. So they're all fake, they're all for a bit of colour. And just my late grandfather's lighter is there. You know, it, it's kind of a pitch podge of different things that I've picked up over the years. Sprigatito was my starter from Pokemon Violet, so I do have the plushie. More Lord of the Rings stuff hidden at the back. And just kind of a zone where I shut the world out and look at things. I, you know what, this was purple. <laughs> This was, uh, believe it or not, it's the pages from a book of uh, an Aragon book with some random bits that I found put on from a craft kit. The gaming stuff. The bottom shelf is a bit more random, but we have the Avatar series, uh, Peace and Humans, Fantastic, Man Rice stuff. Uh, that's autographed, by the way, which is amazing. Buffy. This is one of the most valuable things I own. This is Parasite's Eve. It's actually the prequel to the video game, but the book came out first in Japan. And uh, having it in hardback in English is a rarity. So I'm very glad that I got that. And more D&D &D dice. 
more random gaming stuff, and a mug from East Midlands Trains. To Kill a Mockingbird, I own beautiful double cover edition of that, which is stunning. I'll leave that like that, but I've got the graphic novel and two versions of Ghost at a Watchman, Seventh Cadence. Like, my bookshelf is a bit of a weird dive into my brain sometimes. Things are a bit of a mess on here, Xbox. Uh, things, I use an LG TV as a monitor, but this was a godsend. This is the uh, base of the Mac Mini, and it gives you extra USBs and memory card slots. This drive, not much going on. This is a new addition, but this is kind of where I work from a lot. So this is kind of my little space. My desk is ancient, by the way, and I'm not gonna show you my keyboard because my keyboard is a state, because it's a keyboard and they get gross. <laughs> my, my, this is just my space. It's how I shut the door on the world and, you know, it's mine. <laughs> I like having this. And by the way, just for giggles, <clears throat> giant plastic sword. This was gifted to me by someone as a gag gift and it lives stuck behind my desk and I love it. it, it I'm a big kid, so I want to say that. I'm the hugest kid you'll ever meet. And yeah, I think when it comes to reading, when it comes to all of this stuff, it, it's interesting when you find books that you resonate with. And I think one book, actually two books I resonated with in particular, which are right here that I think you should check out. Hilary Barton Morgan, Grimoire Girl and The Rural Diaries. They're both very different books, but they, they, The Rural Diaries is a success of trial and error and failure and chaos. And then you have all of this, which is just, just kind of an interesting look. It was, it was amazing the amount of commonalities we had with reading. But I look at my books, I look at this room and this space, and it's just how I shut the door. I'm really annoyed over that, though. Like, you can see that. That's what happens when you have an LED light strip that falls off the wall. It takes the paint with it, so I'm not overly impressed. But overall, this is like, oh, bar. I stole that ashtray from a bar in, in Fort Worth. <laughs> the thing i stole it from fort worth it was in an antique store well i say it was in it was in their trash so i kept it and now we sit in the comfort of the nice lighting and i can say if you want to get to know me it's quite a there was meant to be like 80 issues and there wasn't any so it was like they just stopped that was the last issue i've never been so disappointed because i wanted more because there were promises of certain books but they're still beautiful and i've read them all i do like a good classic now let's go into the corner of doom. This is me cleaning, but random assortment of crap. <laughs> now, just to show you this corner, I'm still organizing stuff, but these are the classics collection and they were a collection of classics that you got every other week and they're beautiful editions. And I mean that, but they got cut short. There was meant to be like 80 issues. I feel like the books that I keep in this cabinet tell more of a story about me and my life and the bits that I keep here and the stuff that I keep here. I think it just tells, I mean, it, there's moments in my life reflected, meeting Philip Pullman, for example, that was cool. Um, you know, Gaymond is in there. I only actually have one of his books. The rest I've read from the library because I don't tend to buy a lot of books, believe it or not. Those boxes I just showed you are filled with books. There's books on that table as well, and I'm not showing you that corner because it's bad. <laughs> it's bad, bad. But the stuff here is represents it. I always wanted these little pocket editions of Lord of the Rings and The Hobbit, and they're beautiful. Font size is okay. They're very small. The Hobbit's about the same. But the, they're very cool to read. I have an illustrated show. I have multiple copies of Lord of the Rings and J.R. Tolton's books, because why the hell not? I have an illustrated version of The Hobbit, which I love the illustrations in this. I, I, I mean, it, it's a little bit old now, because it's, you know, I've had this a long time, but, you know, 
and a photograph just fell out. I don't know what this is. I know what this is. This was from a college project. We had to take pictures of signs and streets and things. It was weird. And my very first, well, actually, no, my second edition of Lord of the Rings, I had the movie covers of Lord of the Rings. And then my mother bought me this. My, sadly, I have a few of them. This was second hand. And it's got a note in the front. And I wonder who Pippa was. You taught me to see the greatest film I've ever seen, a film beyond my imagination. Now let me take your imagination to what only you can go to. I love you forever, Nick. I wonder who they were. This, I mean, this is so long ago. I mean, what, 2003 I got this? 2004? So in the big scheme of things, that's a very long time ago. But I wonder who they were. That's the thing. Like, I love secondhand books. I've got, like, my... Um, and there I've got the Chronicles of Narnia. And they're secondhand. And there's a photograph in it of the kids. I've got bookmarks, photographs, personal items in these books. And I wonder who they were. Do you ever wonder that? I know that sounds weird. I, I know. And I think... I try and make this space as just mine as possible. <sighs> I'm not scared of colour, as you can probably see. Or the lack thereof. I, I do remember my partner going, black. It, it's black. Why is it black? Because it's black. And I wanted to make a space that was just mine.